All right, Switchy. We have some major decisions to make. Battery life, portability, power, screen, price, and last but not least, versatility. Let's do this. started with this video give it a thumbs up let's get it over a gajillion likes poof i just made up a number all right dudes this is a question i'm asked almost every day which version of the nintendo switch should i get specifically should i get the new version 2 or should i get the switch light all right for those of you that don't know, Switch version 2 is now available worldwide. And the biggest draw is the larger battery life. But I have that bad boy. And the more I play it, the more you realize that Nintendo did not just upgrade the battery life. There are a lot of things that have been um, improved. Um, the amount of heat the system draws, the cooling fans, the screen, just an overall better switch. Now, without question, if you're thinking of, if you don't have a switch, these are the two you have to consider. Do not buy the OG switch. If you have the OG switch, you still good. The games still run the same, play the same for the most part. But this is for those dudes who are either looking to upgrade and you don't know which one to get or if you don't have a switch at all we have six categories we're going to discuss in this video and hopefully by the end of this video you'll have a better idea of which system is best for you so we're going to compare switch version 2 versus the nintendo switch Lite. so without further ado the first category is battery battery which system has wins the category of battery life now <coughs> the og switch the launch day switch has a battery life of two and a half to six and a half hours which did the job but the switch light improves on it in every way with three to seven hours of battery life on the switch light well how does this bad boy compare the revision switch version 2 has a whopping four and a half to nine up to nine hours battery life so for battery life switch version 2 gets the first check, boy. One, none. Next category, portability. This is one of the reasons why it's called the light. It's lighter, it's smaller, and easier fits in your pocket. More specifically, the new Switch model has a screen size of 6.2 inches and the switch light shrinks it to a five point five and a half five point five five and a half inch size making if you're going to just use the switch to go on business trips to to drive in the back of the car to use this switch primarily out on the go portability hands down goes to the switch light and so right now it's a tense battle one one who's gonna win we'll find out so the switch light nintendo is advertising this as a portable switch you can't even dock it so 
a portable switch. Um, the form factor. I have to say this. The form factor on this bad boy looks clean. If this thing was able to dock and it kept the same form factor, look how clean it looks, bro. I This would be my primary switch, but that's not the case. Let's continue on. All right. The next category is power. I got the power. Nintendo power. Both new Switch models have a revised Tegra X1 um, system on a chip, codenamed Mariko. And so it is primarily a more efficient chip. Tests have already been run. Digital Foundry, and I don't know if Digital Foundry ran, well they did, they did some overclocking tests, but um, specifically Game Explain, they did frame rate tests on both systems, and the final results were, both systems, games run the same on both systems, <coughs> if I'm not mistaken, the Switch version 2 had slightly better load times but even that was inconsequential so for power it's actually a tie they both get a check bro oh no what are we going to do obi-wan you just wasted six minutes and 45 seconds of my time right now it's a tie you're not helping me to decide we're not done yet boy checks next category is screen tests have been I forgot the dude's YouTube channel something Ken something but he ran he had like a legit he ran legit tests on both um, on, um not on both models on the new switch it's already being reported that both switches have similar screens, but specifically the new Switch model compared to the older Switch model, game the colors in the games were actually clearer and brighter. The bright it's brighter. The new Switch version 2 actually has a brighter Switch um, screen than the OG Switch models. They did test on it. Now it's being said the Switch Lite is going to have the same tech as Switch version 2. And so even though it's not out yet, I have to do this category based on reporting. And reportings are indicating that both Switch models have the same exact screen. However, however, this Switch screen is larger. And this switch screen is smaller. Science. It's obvious. So, I think this is going to be based... This category is preference. Because I am already already know some games that I play on my Switch in handheld mode, the text can be a little small to read. And so, compound that with a smaller screen size. It might not be your cup of tea. But, if you want a smaller screen for it to be more convenient uh, so I have to give the edge as far as screen size is concerned to the not that one to the um, switch version 2 the switch the screen size is just larger so um, a larger screen size makes gaming easier in handheld mode all right next category is price you can play the same games on both systems but one of these systems is a hundred dollars cheaper which when you ask the switch light is two hundred dollars this one is gonna re is does retail for three hundred this one retails for two hundred dollars and it plays the same games now they did take out um there's no hd rumble um 
there's no there there's no detachable joy cons and so the price you do pay a price for the price you have less features but at the end of the day you're getting the same gaming experience it's going to be the same games and so for price mm, i have to give price to the switch like we're tied bro here we go again rb1 you just wasted 10 minutes of my life bro three checks here three checks there help a brother out we're not done and this is probably the most important category and the reason why i'm leaning towards the system i'm gonna let you guys know if you were to choose if you don't have a switch or if you're looking to upgrade which switch to get versatility both switches are portable but only one switch this works as a docking mechanism you could dock it and play on your screen as well as handheld mode this is actually a switch this isn't even a switch <coughs> you can't switch but it's called a switch makes no sense nintendo the same company that called stop putting 3d in the 3ds's and called it a 2ds oh nintendo so confusing and so one big drawback and an absolute deciding factor for me is whether or not you can dock it you cannot dock this system and if you are a joy con boy where my where my joy con boys at bro if you're a joy con boy you're gonna be a traitor if you buy this it doesn't even have joy cons bro so you could detach the joy cons this has a kickstand mm -hmm. switch light does not have a kickstand so as far as versatility the um switch booyah <coughs> switch version 2 the versatility category it takes it and that is my ultimate deciding factor because i already have this is my fourth switch i have four switches in my house bro and i could have waited to get this one but you can't do i'm still buying it though i'm still gonna buy one <laughs> i already have one pre-order on gamestop don't judge me but if you weren't ob1 and you were just gonna buy one and if i had to recommend of the two which one to get switch version two simple math bro four checks three checks the winner of the comparison video is the switch model two version two that's what the gamestop employees called it version two the big deciding both systems you both systems are gonna have great games but the deciding factor for me is dock mode you there might be one day where you have a group of people over and you're like you know what let's put mario party on the big screen you can't do that with the switch Lite. deciding factor i play most of my switch gaming well no lately i have to admit i have been playing more in handheld mode fire emblem three houses straight fire bro how fire this much fire i got the gift in there i'm putting fire in my video bro all right dudes that's it for this video what did you guys think which version of the switch are you gonna be picking up speaking of the switch light i'm giving away a switch light to a lucky member of the ogc if you become a twitch sub if you have twitch prime you can become a member for free um or you could join through youtube there's a join button below this video or become a sponsor on patreon you join a dope nintendo switch gaming community you game with me every day tonight we're gonna be playing splatoon we're gonna be playing another oh, splatoon smash and nba 2k on the switch tonight bruh all right join the ogc the best decision of your gaming life all right dudes and i'm giving away a switch light in september to a lucky member sound off in the comment what do you guys think about everything i just said in this video sound off in the comment section below i want to know but before you go bro i thought i had my bro whatever bro click that subscribe button stay up to date all things nintendo
dope. We out, bruh. Probably wouldn't have showed up anyway with all this stuff on the screen. Come on, bro.